Hello and welcome to the Nifty Banter Podcast with me, We Added 31 TNG, Jason Games YT. Hello! And the man who in the last podcast admitted to having a, a fetish for having his nipples tased, I my did. brother Mark Rothnew. Hello. <laughs> yes, you did. I don't remember that. Don't. Uh, what, was the, what was the first proper hollow I've heard from him? Ever, so. that was, yeah, oh my god. Yeah. I, I'd blow, I mean, he did kind of interrupt me in the middle of that and go, <laughs> I did? But yeah, that was a proper That was a proper hello. So everyone, you've just heard uh, probably the first and only time you'll ever hear Martin talk like a human being. Uh, I'm sorry that it'll never happen again. What do we have to talk about this week? I believe Martin has I want uh, to quite about, a few topics. I <laughs> want to talk about chocolate again. <laughs> right, you said in the first podcast that... Or was that that I said it? Can I, can I just point out that... <laughs> Someone when said... you make a podcast, you don't make the same topic of discussion every week. <laughs> I, just, I just want to reiterate it. <laughs> Unless you're making a segment, we're not making a chocolate segment. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently... Let's go back on the chocolate anyway. Remember, <laughs> remember how we, what we're talking about? Chocolate is apparently disappearing. Yes. We're going around. <laughs> uh, well, apparently... I found this out earlier. Apparently last year, people consumed... 70,000 metric tons more chocolates, more coca beans than farmers produced. So well, that I, doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Coca beans are used to make chocolate. We people ate 70,000 tons more than it was grown. So how does that make sense? That means, <laughs> yes, we are. Based on that logic, yes, we will run out of chocolate. We're eating more than we can make. So how do we eat more than what was already made? Because obviously we had more some made from the year before. All right then, <laughs> clarify that next time. You're just like, this year we made this much, but we ate this much more. Well, I figured it was obvious. It was a little bit, but at the same time, you need to word your things correctly. All right, well there we go, folks. Uh, unanimous proof that in fact chocolate is going out. So uh, see if your Freddos. Twenty p might be a lot these days, but it's like five p now. Oh fuck me. Well, that's not what our topic is for today, anyway. Um, Martin, you have 18 topics to talk about. Like, give us a run through of what you've got for us. Well, I wanted to talk about German. I wanted to mention about, about German pizzas. Go on. <laughs> well, you've got me worried. <laughs> <laughs> like, every, like, I don't want you to be racist in every podcast. I already know what you've got planned for today's one, and I don't like it. Oh, um, well, if it is bad, no. It's, and I uh, recently smart enough ending America again. Yes, it is actually. Um, oh. And a bunch of German. Uh, pe- I saw loads of images of German pizza menus earlier. I right, well, I got that sentence out. <coughs> it was right. And all just, before you speak and think was, about your sentence structure. I was starting to speak and you interrupted. You were starting to speak, but then you went. Uh, 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 no, uh, and then I was speaking English and you stopped. <laughs> no, speaking German more like. <laughs> Okay, in the German pizza menu, there is four sizes: Klein for small, middle for medium, <laughs> gross. For <laughs> it's middle for medium. You do know that the German word for medium or middle is not middle. Well, uh, that you said was, Klein. That made sense. You said middle, well, that and is, then you for gross. That's what it was said on the menu that I read, and then it was gross, which is definitely big, and then the fourth. Size was USA. <laughs> Not really. Oh, fuck yeah. it! Out. <laughs> this was for loads of different me- German uh. shop menus. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Yes. That is pretty funny. I Can you imagine like, like American tourists seeing that and going in and complaining? No, I don't. <laughs> think like the some people really care. They probably would complain that they're not large enough. Oh my god. Uh, okay, then. Well, is that literally like it? No, there's no more. No, I mean, is that it for that? Topic? Oh, like, for that, yeah. Really? Some of them are small. That was fucking dreadful. <laughs> exactly. Some of them just, like, when I say it's a topic, Martin, that's supposed to go on for a bit. Oh, but, no, I'm just telling you some of the things that we find out, such as um, a group of butterflies is called a kaleidoscope. <laughs> if you think of it, it makes sense. Why did you... Where, what have you been doing for the week to find out this stuff? Oh, I was bored. And so you Googled what... I, I wonder what a crowd of butterflies is called. <laughs> well, not exactly. Not exactly a thought that I expect to go through your head. There's loads of students' well, to go through is, my head. It is, Martin. I understand. Like anything to go through his head. Uh, oh, well, have you heard about ketchup? 
Uh, well, it's, it's, I, I've heard of ketchup. That is a thing I'm aware of. Yes. Did you know it used to contain brandy? Well, Martin. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't know quite. Like, how can we like, talk about this more, though? I mean, uh, it's no, just one liner. Are you just spouting random facts? No, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just telling you something. Can I, can I point, point out, out, right? Whenever Carl Pilkington would say these things on the Ricky Gervais show, he would go into detail more. No. And, like, expand on it, and then Ricky would say he's a fucking idiot. Whereas you're making me call you a fucking idiot without you needing to expand, because you're not looking into these things. You're just I, going, do you know that Brandy once was in ketchup? Hey, but yeah, used to be, you, they used to use Brandy to make ketchup. Okay. I'm just going to tell you some things I find out. Oh, good. I'll, I'll keep that in mind next time I go get ketchup. You know, just in case, you know, I need to know that for my life. Oh, you never know. Right. No, I'm pretty sure I could live without ever knowing that. Well, go on to what you want me to talk about. And that's I don't want you to talk about this. You said you're going to talk about it regardless. <laughs> right, well, we'll talk about the idiot Ferris. No. Uh, <sighs> yes, we'll talk about the idiot Ferris. Half of them, at least half of America has the idiot Ferris. No, no, no. Expand on it properly. What? Right. Yeah, have you not heard okay. Okay. Let, let, let me do this properly. Right, so no. there's a show that airs over here in the UK, because obviously this isn't going to be watched by people just in the UK. There is a show that airs in the UK called Russell Howard's Good News. On that, he takes the piss out of the news. It's just it's just a comedy show. Uh, one, of the, one of the news stories in America last week was that apparently there is now an idiot virus in America, and as Martin says, about half of Americans have it. At least. And, and all he's basing this off is this, this one TV show. But it was on their news. It is was it not called um, news. Humanity? Fox oh, News? Oh, called on Humanity! No, it's actually... Adam, when I told him to talk to Adam earlier about it, he just brushed me off saying... <laughs> it, it was obviously fake. But one, well, of course it's fake. It's There's no, no such thing as an idiot virus. I People actually, are just fucking stupid. I looked it up. That's though. not a virus! I looked it up earlier on, and it is actually true. It's actually, uh, it comes from uh, green algae. Because the is so full of truth. It comes from green algae. That is in the the reservoirs that's... where the drinking water is contained. No, this is the biggest part of bullshit I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, you're talking shit. No, it's from... Uh, the... How would you know this is real? You're not a scientist and it's just it's online bullshit. It, it was published in a scientific uh, journal. That doesn't, it doesn't make it real. When so the, books are real now? And journals are real? Scientific <laughs> journals. The articles published in them are scientific. What scientific, scientific journal was this in? I don't know. The, I don't even know any scientific The Bible, for fuck's sake. Because <laughs> <laughs> the Bible has just been the high point of Scientology. Or scientists study it in, just in general. Uh, Scientology is oh, the... has been, surely. What's the spaghetti sake? monster, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what? Uh, the, the giant spaghetti monster that flies in the sky. You talk about Scientology. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Scienti- that's Scientology. I think that's their excuse to say, like, you wouldn't believe in that, so why do you believe in God? No, well, I don't know Scientology. I don't know anything. So why are you talking about it as if you know it? You're offending people against uh, the offending people. You're this the... is not an, a, a podcast <laughs> to offend people. It's to entertain, and all you're doing is making people angry. Well, um, all my point was that David Farris is out there, and it is... And it's going to get you. No, but so, the... hide your kids, hide your wife, because... <laughs> <laughs> because Morton's coming to get you. They, they know it's Martin, out. You, were you the one who shot in the rivers, and that's how the uh, idiot <laughs> came about? They know the virus is out there, and, but they don't know... They don't know how it started infecting people, because I've known about it for years, but it just they didn't know it infected people, but now they know that, yes, it does infect people, they just don't know how or how to treat it. What people <laughs> are we talking about here? Like, ordinary uh, fucking human beings or idiots? Everyone's the honest. biggest load of bullshit I've ever heard. There's a reason that Russell Howard put it on his TV show, because it's nonsense. Because it's funny that America thinks that an excuse for being silly is a virus whenever, no, some people are just stupid. Well, that's uh, why he put it on a TV show. <laughs> oh, because it's lies. It's <laughs> fucking retarded. It's, it's not. It's not real, Martin. It was published in a scientific journal. That doesn't make it real. It does. <laughs> It'd be published in a scientific journal. It has to be backed up by cold hard facts and research. And then that, if it's in a scientific journal, you can trust it. Simple. Uh Right. So. 
what else about this idiot virus you were, were you, you going to talk about? I don't know, just to point out that you said it wasn't fake, and I found research. And, I, found and I said it wasn't fake? You said you said it was fake, and I found research that proves it's not. Well, you didn't find research because it's on the internet. But the, the research... It says that the, they published their research in the journal. If it's in a sentence... Have you journal, seen the journal, and have you seen the, the, the publishing? Of course I've not seen the, the journal. Itself. Well, then how do you know it's real? They could have lied about that. Yeah, yes, because they're going to lie about something like that that is so easy to trace and find out if it's fake or not. Yes! <laughs> it's the internet, Martin! <laughs> You've been on the internet for a long time. How do you not understand how it works? I understand exactly how it works. Are one of my favourite websites is The Onion. It is hilarious. You're one of your favourite websites? <laughs> yes. Okay, Scoob, okay. <laughs> really? The Onion? Yes. What's The Onion? Have you not heard of The Onion? <laughs> this is like a this is like a, a, a song. Do you know the Muppet Man? Have you heard of the, the Onion? Well, the Onion is full of layers. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, no, well, the, whenever. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. Just go. Uh, just go. Well, the, the Onion is it's a what you call that word? Sac- I swear to God, this is gonna make me cry. Sacrilegial, no, sacri. Satirical. Is that the word? Sacrilegious and satirical are two very different things. It's a website full of satire. It just makes up ra- the most random idiotic news stories and loads of people on Facebook like believe it. idiot virus. No, it's not on the onion. <laughs> That's like the weirdest sentence I've ever heard. No, that is not on the onion. Well, you never know, actually. Onions could have been grown oh, with the water God. that was contaminated by the idiot virus. Which is Why are we talking about this for? Martin thinks this is news. <laughs> I Martin think it's thinks quite, this is real. I think it's quite Ed- interesting. It would explain... But it would, quite idiotic. It would, it would really explain most of America. It would also explain you, but we all know that you're just <laughs> stupid. Plus, I don't like to drink water. Makes me feel sick. <laughs> you also don't like to shower very often, but even that, you know, or last night. water. <laughs> I, I, it doesn't matter when you last shower. I said you don't like to do it very often. Like, it wastes a lot of time. If you could shower and be done in two minutes, it would be less right. than going to the I will agree in 20. that showering is a waste of time, aside from the fact it gets you clean. Because to me, I'm like, God, this is like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I can be spent doing something else. But at the same yeah. time, I'm like, I don't want to smell and look like a fucking... That's why I got a waterproof phone. <laughs> what? <laughs> then I could sit and watch YouTube videos. Oh, whoa, 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 what? Whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> That's why... No, in the shower. In the shower? Why are you yeah. taking your are phone you into the in? shower? It's waterproof. I can watch YouTube videos. So that's then. why you stink. You, yeah. can watch, <laughs> you can watch videos in the shower rather than getting a shower in the shower. No. <laughs> Fucking hell, Mark. Why do you take your phone into the shower? Because I can hold it in one hand watching YouTube and then you can wash yourself with the other. Uh, no. <laughs> That's not how it works. Uh, it's not. You also, oh, as a band, do not need to take your phone to the bathroom to take a seat to take a piss because you want to watch YouTube videos. You can go in and it'll take half a minute, maybe, to, t- to take a piss and you can get straight back out and watch them on your computer. But you take your phone... If you're taking a shit, I would, I would understand. Yeah. If you go in for a shit, take your DS, take your phone, do whatever you want. That's fine. You'll be there a while. It takes a while to do. It's understandable. Why are we talking about the podcast? Idea. But <laughs> actually get in to have a piss when you're a man and you intend to get down and you take it into your shark, what is wrong with you? Can we now talk about diarrhea briefly? Because I want to bring up a point I recently learned. Oh. Apparently if you eat sugar free sweets, it gives you diarrhea. Would you like to test that three for us? Technically I've actually I've uh, been eating sugar free sweets like all the time but up your ass so you've been spouting diarrhea from your oh. mouth. Talking shit this entire time. I have actually found when I have a lot of sugar-free drinks, a lot more than normal, you do get the runs. <laughs> it, it has been scientifically proven. Oh, here we go with that word again. <laughs> Doctors have confirmed that. The yeah. one of the best <laughs> well, it sounds like a fucking spammy meal. Doctors have confirmed that they get this man. Uh, the, this pill will make you have the shits for days. No, it, it's a... People are using it as a cure for uh, constipation. If you get uh, sugar-free uh, gummy bears, they are really good for that. If you go onto Amazon and look at the reviews for sugar-free gummy bears, we get like Who a... Who the fuck buys sweets off Amazon? 
Have you ever bought sweets of Amazon? You can buy giant no! You can buy giant There are shops for that! No, but you can't buy giant tubs in the shops. Yes, you can, you do that all the time. But no, I can do that at the wholesalers. Which is where the shops buy it. I buy it and sell it to myself. We're nothing. Yay! <laughs> What? Oh, no, fucking ah, so but if you, yeah, if you go on the Amazon review pages for sugar-free gummy bears, you will see loads of people saying that it gives them the runs. Oh, why would they <laughs> leave that on a review? Why would you even buy them for the first place? Because, pe- because, because people think sugar-free sweets are better for you than sugar-filled uh, sweets. No, they're actually worse for you. Oh, they not? they give you the runs. Well, yeah, that too, I guess, if it is true. It is true. But, like, they're full of fucking all those, what, fucking, what, like, sweeteners and stuff, are they not? Yeah. Oh, they're shy, so they're actually kind of, you know, as bad as ordinary sweets. It's like, you know, it's like drinks, too, fizzy drinks. Yeah, I don't know, fizzy drinks. I think I've gotten the run. <laughs> you want to bet? Tell that to a dentist. <laughs> and start to fucking <laughs> prove it. I don't know. Well, it's funny you should say that, because scientists <laughs> have to say... <laughs> Do you not have anything to comment on about that, Martin? About scientists, dentists, or whatever? You hate the dentist, I don't you? The, yes, I hate the dentist. Why? Is it the final dentist? If you go into the dentist, the smell is the smell of pain and death. Well, Martin, no, 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 no that's a hospital. A hospital oh, smell oh, of pain and death. What the fuck? Horrible fucking dentist death? have you been going into that smells like pain and death? The last my last dentist was in a hospital. So <laughs> to be fair, what? Wait, um, was that when you broke your wrist? No. <laughs> <laughs> I did not get my teeth when I broke my You go to the dentist for your broken wrist. <laughs> uh, oh, it's classic. We'll just put a wee bit of fill in here to fill it back up. <laughs> it's just not as uh, flexible now. The crowd in here, uh, are you fixed? Uh, goodness. <laughs> Put some braces here, are you good? In the hospital to get a dentist check thing? <laughs> well, the dentist. If it wasn't, that you're, if it wasn't for your wrist? Because that was the last time you were in a hospital? No, well, uh, no, I was in the hospital after that, but but because the, the dentist was in the dentist practice was in a wee part of the hospital, but you have to go into the hospital to get to the dentist. Well, that would happen if it's inside the hospital, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's what I said. It, it was in the hospital. Alright then. But yeah. Uh, um. Well, like, have you not gone and got anything checked about your wisdom tooth? No. Because, uh, don't, Jason, don't, you don't, don't know anymore. this. Well, right. <laughs> Uh, Martin, 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 if I turn uh, my hand. Martin had a wisdom tooth growing and he managed to chip it. What? Martin chipped his wisdom tooth. Hi. You say much. chip it, it really just came out. Oh, did it come out? Well, I well, thought you uh, said it chipped. Well, it's like it chipped, but it. it ha- oh, you are once again contradicting yourself, it came out. Well, actually, it's like a chip, but. Well, no, make up your fucking mind. Well, what is it then? It's like a chip because only half of it came out. But so it chipped! No, but there only was half of it. <laughs> Do you understand? Oh, no, I don't. It's half a tooth, so it's chipped, but there only was half of it to begin with, so... So it's all out, so, so it's, it's not chipped. Out. But it is still technically chipped, because it's not a full tooth. Someone process this for a moment and just, like, think about his sentence structure and try and work this out in your head. It makes perfect sense to me. No, no, no. It's half a tooth, so it all come out, so it's gone. But because it's only half a tooth, and it's that, and it's chipped, so it's... Oh, fuck, I don't even know. That, that makes perfect sense. No, it doesn't. So, thank you, everybody, so much for listening. If you want to download the podcast, they are available in the description. There is a link to SoundCloud, where I upload all the podcasts as audio only. You can download them there, and you can listen to them on the go if you really want to put yourself through this torment. So, thank you for listening, and goodbye. Did you hear me? What the fuck did you just say? I, you're just rushing through it like 25 million miles an hour. What did you say there? You're rushing through the end. You're trying to do it in less than 10 seconds. What did you say? I just told you. I said goodbye. Jesus said goodbye. And then you go, you're rushing through the ending. I said you tried to do about a, t- a minute long set. <laughs> I need to say that as we're ending. Right, we're ending it now. All right, so everyone say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bing, bing, bing.